If you're not comfortable using analog, do don't do not even start with digital. That's my opinion. That's how I train. And when I bring apprentices up, if he can't show me that he's very skilled with an analog, I am not going to allow him to pull his digital or his Bluetooth out on the job site. That is just something I'm a stickler about. But once you have good solid comfort level and you know how to use an analog properly and read it and interpret it, then these Bluetooths are a very good investment. Having three, four, five of these spread across the machine and trying to take all your different readings, that's saying that the machine doesn't have a panel, uh, that you can just take it from there. This is a lot of work and it's a lot of math to have to do. The good part about these is once you hook them up and if everything's working correctly, it's saving you the extra time to have to run around and actively take your pressure readings and keep everything by memory. So what that did for me was I had a device I could just stand in one central spot, take my readings, I can focus more on listening, and I can focus that time I would spend trying to remember the numbers and do math and keep track of it as it's all adjusting. I can just actively watch the numbers, and it's doing a lot of the math for me for my superheats. And then I, my, my brain power is more focused on the troubleshooting aspect than trying to analyze numbers as much or trying to calculate numbers, maybe a better way to say that.